Alrighty, boys and girls, so uh, today we have another uh, uh, very, uh, very interesting video, alright? Because some girl thinks it is racist if you buy meat and eat it and you're not African American. Uh, yeah, and this is coming from someone who is African American. I, I just don't know what's going through her brain. She, she must be very stupid. Now, trust me, this is gonna be very, very interesting, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. So, uh, yeah, make sure to stick to the end, buddy, because, uh, you're, you're, it's, it's gonna get crazy. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel with notifications on because, uh, you doing that would honestly mean a lot like for two reasons vegan teachers trying to pass me right now and subscribers and if all of you guys who hear this right now just simply press that subscribe button literally you're gonna make it so impossible for her to pass me it's gonna be ridiculous second of all i'm trying to hit 500,000 subscribe uh, the, the. Second of all, I'm trying to hit 500,000 subscribers, so, uh, you know, you subscribing will contribute to two causes, so, uh, that, that's literally just goaded, dude. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. How is eating meat racist? I'll gladly tell you. Looks like we've got an oppressor on our hands. Wow, who would have ever known 2021 would be the year where people get mad at someone and call them a literal, uh, a racist for, uh, eating meat? Yeah, wow. You know, the funny part about it is she's calling people oppress- uh, 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 uh. She's calling people oppressors and whatnot for eating meat, but she doesn't understand. Half of the people that are African-American watching this video, I can tell you, are not offended by the fact that, uh, white people are eating meat. Being that I am of that race, I, I know I, I'm speaking for a vast majority of the fellow, you know, people of my race when I say that- it's it's not that big of a deal. I mean, we all gotta eat. Like, isn't it racist technically by hating a race because the color of their skin and what they eat? Like, it, it's reverse racism, dude. So why would you call someone else racist but encourage reverse racism at the same time? It's so confusing, dog. So, during slavery times, slaves did not get to eat the same things as their masters. They got the scraps that no one wanted. Chitterlings. Now, that black people have overcome slavery, they developed a rich barbecue culture. Since when was barbecue limited to just African American people? Like, I understand our culture is heavily associated with, you know, barbecue, I guess, and some people's weird minds. I don't know why they would think that, but that's just how it is. But now she's acting like African Americans are the only people who barbecue. Like, I'm sorry, bro, but a lot of people I know who aren't African American barbecue. Like, I, I don't get what's the point of this. To make up for all the meat eating that they lost out on. So when you go to the store and you buy a piece of meat as a white person, you are actively taking away a piece of meat that could be being enjoyed by a survivor of ancestral slavery. Okay, so according to this girl, if you're white or you're not a color of uh, uh, African American, if you're not the color of black, uh, that means that, you know, you're racist. Yeah, buying meat and uh, being white makes you racist. Like, what sense does that make, dude? Like, honestly, I don't want to get too controversial here or too into my uh, beliefs and stuff, but she's taking it way, 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 way too far with the way she's doing all this, bro. Like, I get it. It's a touchy, uh, a touchy subject. You don't want it to happen again. None of us like the topic or condone it in any way, shape, or form. But one thing I can say is to encourage behavior like this where you're like, oh, if you're white and you buy meat, you're racist. It's really sickening. Like, I honestly do not understand the thought process of some people, dude. It, it, just, it just takes a, a lot for me to comprehend these people. Eating meat is not only racist, but it's also anti-Semitic. During the Holocaust... Jews did not get to eat meat in labor camps. And that's because the people that were holding them captive and, you know, keeping them in the concentration camps will not let them eat. So, I mean, it's literally not anybody's fault. Like, how do you have beef with meat because of something that people who literally have absolutely nothing to do with people eating meat did something like that? Like, I, I don't get it. Honestly, don't know how to say what I'm saying properly, but you know exactly what I'm trying to get at here. It's overall stupid, and I don't understand what's going through these people's brains. They ate potato soup which would spill on their bodies, burning them and giving them infections. Now, Jew survivors eat a lot of meat. Brisket. Just let them have that. Stop appropriating every- and just like that, that extremely notorious video comes to an end, but it doesn't end there, right? Because, uh, according to this woman, if you're, you know, uh, non v well, n n listen, if you're not African American, you're racist for eating meat. We're gonna be reacting to some white vegans eat meat for the first time. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, hilarious, alright? Th these people are racist, dude. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, buckle up and, uh, try not to f uh, 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 yeah. Uh, let let let's go. Gonna be tasting meat for the first time in about 30 years. I've been a vegetarian for about a year now, so I'm really just 
completely turned off me, so I'm really nervous. <laughs> Coming up to five years, I would be vegetarian now, I'd say. I fell off the wagon once or twice at the start, because not easy. But yeah, good five years, I'm proud to say. Kind of off topic, but I have actually respect for this, like, girl who just said that, because a lot of people would be like, oh, being vegan is the easiest thing you can do, go vegan, they will lie about it, but it, it actually is hard from a lot of people I've heard. Like, people don't understand it's not easy to change something you've done for literally your entire life, so, I mean, I just have respect for her for at least admitting that it's definitely a battle. Oh my god! It's sausage with it. Is that bacon around it, is it? So I've only ever had a barbecued vegetable, so... <laughs> it's not as good as I remembered, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh sorry. <laughs> I'll take one more. <laughs> I won't. I'm not touching it now. I just couldn't imagine swallowing it. Honestly, y'all low-key hating on meat. Like, meat is actually pretty fire. I mean, I get you guys are vegan and all, but like, come on now. You, you can't lie. Like, don't, don't lie here, dude. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Do not lie. Seriously? Well, I don't know what that was, dude. <gasps> no, God, no. <laughs> Gosh, even cutting this is hard. So one thing you never have to worry about with vegetables. I knew there was going to be meat involved, but you know what, I didn't even, I wasn't even going to allow myself to think what kind of meat. Jesus, how do people do this? Mm. <laughs> Bro, she just really is not feeling it, is she? I mean, she, she, I, I get it, she's vegan and all, but she's just like not feeling that steak at all, bro. She's about to just absolutely lose it. Y'all, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Give me like literally two seconds. All right, guys, so I just came back from the bathroom. <laughs> is that enough of a taste? Okay, <laughs> do it. It just doesn't seem like food. So dipping the chicken in the blue cheese, is that cheating? Okay, no, that's as good as I remember. Strangely, out of all the meats, chicken is the one that I really can't stand, even the thought of. Oh my God. Even just the, the fact you have to touch it with your fingers. Just when I took a bite into it and I touched the bone, I just, oh, it, oh yeah, it's the skin and the... Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's so good. Now, she's a super cool vegan, like, she's willing to admit when something tastes good, she doesn't put on this fake vegan persona, oh, I'm vegan, oh, she's actually being honest. And that's what I like with vegans, uh, well, excuse me, <laughs> if I can speak vegans, because ones like this who can actually admit, alright, something tastes good, you know, something's not as bad as people make it out to be, I, I like that, because she's being honest, while also staying true to herself and admitting when she, you know, likes something, which is cool, and I honestly respect that a ton. This is definitely the worst so far. This is cow. This should be easy because, well, easier, I think, because it's more processed. I can really just taste the meat, like, compared to everything else with it. I can really <laughs> just need to spare out. Old MacDonald had a farm. Oh my God, there's so much chewing in it. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can feel the knife cutting into it. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Honestly, bro, if I were you, I wouldn't be complaining. As I mean, I just ate a burger, as a matter of fact. Drunk a milkshake, ate some fries, got some cheese to dip too from my sister, dude. Honestly, you know, it's great. Uh, being being a non-vegan is amazing. It's honestly just hilarious to me how she, how she said she's, like, feeling genuine pain at the fact that she's cutting into a burger right now. Like, that's funny to me because, you know, I don't think of it like that. I just think of it as me getting my food. That's really it. Yeah, this is my memory of meat that you're just chewing and chewing and it's not going anywhere. Veal. Yeah. Why is that? Honestly, with veal, it's kind of the ethical thing. That's why people don't eat it. But in terms of tasting, I can't imagine it's any different. Ugh. My stomach's turning just even like thinking about biting into it. <laughs> I feel so guilty because that's nice. <laughs> it is like it's actually nice. It just does nothing for me. The taste is just really kind of bland, tissuey. Um, yeah, it doesn't really taste of anything. The texture was much better than the steak. Because it's a baby. 
I'm sorry, Miss Vegan. I'm really sorry, you know. Um, I'm, I'm sorry you had to, you know, deal with the pain of knowing that it's a baby you're eating there. Just, I don't look at it as being food anymore. Like, I really just look at it as being a flesh of an animal. Like, I'm a lot more, set, yeah, a lot more assertive now and, and sure that I'm, I'm, I'm vegetarian for life, 100%. What did one vegetarian say to the other vegetarian? You've got to stop meeting like this. That's all I've got. It's my only vegetarian joke. You're laughing! <laughs> oh no, I have another one. I actually do. I have another one. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? <laughs> he was running from Colonel Sanders. <laughs> you know what? That's enough vegan cringe for, for, for one day, alright? Uh, I'm gonna pass it over to my boy Decept. He's gonna react to some stuff for a bit, probably a bit talk about some vegan teacher. Uh, yeah, take it away, Joseph. Thank you so much, Ivan. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. No, you don't take you don't thank somebody for giving your child dead body parts. What the f is wrong with you? Alright, man. Welcome back to yet again another video. And today we are gonna be checking out some more that vegan teacher. Alright, now uh for those of you guys that are new around here and haven't seen the video, a few weeks ago I talked about how that vegan teacher, the vegan Ewok herself, decided to go after the legendary YouTuber Darman. Now, if you know anything about the Decept YouTube channel, you would know that we have a zero tolerance policy for any Darman slander, dude. So when I saw the vegan Ewok was going after Darman, it kinda had me upset. So you just know I had to make a video on it and well today it seems like vegan teacher is once again going after darman because a few days ago she made a video called why is at darman who seems so kind promoting so much animal suffering in the videos he creates oh no and goddamn bro that like to dislike ratio you can just tell the darman fam really didn't take this one too lightly now this video got so big to the point where the man himself darman actually saw the video and made a little bit of a response to it that i'm not gonna lie was actually pretty funny so before we check out the response i feel like we should you know react to the actual video just to kind of indulge ourselves into the stupidity of that vegan teachers so yeah without any further ado let's begin hello students welcome back to class check it out we're going to be watching a video by darman and apparently it has it talks about vegan Hot dogs, I'm so excited, let's watch. Now listen, Miss Vegan Teacher, I'm not too sure if like the old age is starting to get to you and you can't read, but that title says, Boss Kicks Out Job Applicant Lives to Regret It. It says nothing at all about vegan hot dogs or being vegan, but okay, dude, dream on. Go hungry. Okay, let's get you a hot dog. <laughs> a hot dog. Hey, Ivan. Wait, he didn't say vegan. Oh. No, he didn't say vegan hot dog. That's not good. I have to put an X on the paper. You know what? I kind of want to experience what it feels like to get an X on that vegan teacher's paper, dude. I have made so many videos on her that combined have gotten like millions of views, yet for some reason she still has not responded to one of my videos yet. So vegan teacher, if you're seeing this video, please respond to me, dude. I want to know what it's like to fill your stupid vegan class, dude. Come on, respond to me, please. Carol, did you get a hot dog? Did he just say vegan hot dog or did he say hot dog? I didn't hear the word vegan. Let's go back. No. Guys, is this just a mistake? Did you guys fool me? Did you guys trick me? Oh my god, for the love of god, shut up, dude. We're 40 seconds into the video and I'm already annoyed. It's like she expects every influencer and every little minute detail inside of their videos to be vegan. Like, shut the fuck. Hey, Ivan. Harold! Did you get a hot dog? Oh. Uh, never mind. I don't. I don't have enough. But I really want a hot dog. Uh, I'm so sorry, son. After I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again. Okay? Okay. Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. No! Don't give children hot dogs! They are made from a cycle of violence! Hot dogs contain dead animals! No, no, no! You must feed them vegan hot dogs! Not dead animals! It's wrong to hurt animals! Leave it to vegan teacher to make a good deed somehow a bad thing. Like, this father is obviously a bit poor, doesn't have enough money to buy his son a hot dog, and this guy's like, hey man, it's on me. I'll get your son a hot dog and I'll pay for it, right? Very great deed. But then, oh, here comes the mighty vegan teacher. <laughs> Is that a vegan hot dog? Do not serve that kid the murder on the plate. Go vegan. Look at this ugly ass pig. Do you think it deserves to die for your food? Actually, yeah, the pig looks stupid as hell. Don't hurt them. 
Oh no, this is starting to make me really sad. No. No, you, you got it last time. I know business has been tough on you and I can't ask you to do it again. <laughs> it's okay. I might not have a lot of customers, but it's better than being hungry. Besides, I've always believed that the kindness you put out into the world has a way of coming back to you. Yes, but don't put out something into the world that is a dead animal. How is that being kind? Are you not considering the animals and how they feel? They don't want to be put into gas chambers. Pigs are put into gas chambers. They are murdered at six months old. That's not right. Do you know what? They did that to the Jews in World War II. They pretended that they were taking them into showers and then they murdered them by turning on the gas. No, this is all wrong. Nah, vegan teacher, that one crossed the line. That one ain't it. There's no way you're comparing a pig and a chicken being killed to satisfy our taste buds to what happened in the Halo cause, dude. Those two things are not comparable. Like, one thing is actual human beings having their lives wrongfully taken for something that's out of their control. And the other thing is pigs and chickens that have the brain power of a drunk two-year-old being taken out to satisfy our taste buds, dude. Like, whether you want to accept it or not, a human being life in my opinion is way more valuable than like a pig's life dude come on children should never be eating these kinds of things ever it's not good for them veganism is good for the animals the environment and human health if you need recipes you just go to bosch.tv you guys tricked me that's not right i thought this was going to be about vegan hot dogs No! No! Animals don't belong in a bun! All their body parts cut up! This is so wrong! Darman, I have to give you another X now. I don't see any mention of vegan foods here at all. And you said the word hot dog without saying vegan over and over and over. There you go. It's okay, take it. No! Don't take it! No! Oh my god! What is the dad doing? Don't feed your kid body parts. The poor innocent pigs. Do you know what happens to them? Their mothers and fathers are They take the male pigs and they touch them inappropriately. They touch their penis. They rub them and they take out the sperm. Then they force it into the females. Lol, don't care. It's not right. It's bestiality. It's so It's don't do that to children and we should not do that to animals they can never give consent to that how can you be okay with this cycle of violence don't get me wrong man i guess going vegan is a good deed it means you have a bigger heart than i do and you actually care about the animals i don't have anything against you if you're a vegan but come on dude when a kid and a father can barely afford to put food on the table you can't really expect them to give a damn whether the food they're consuming is vegan or not because i'm pretty sure vegan food is more expensive than food that contains animal products you know so when they can barely afford to buy a five dollar hot dog you can't really expect expecting to give a damn you know they very obviously got other things they need to focus on before going vegan i'm giving you more x's for this this is absolutely wrong did she just give this man an x for the same thing three times like i swear to god she's been like oh no vegan hot dogs x no vegan hot dogs x like come on bro give him one x for one quote unquote non-vegan crime and move on bro that's an unfair ass grading system dude no wonder you're no longer a teacher bro you are ass at this job we shouldn't be giving this to children and also, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has stated clearly that anyone can be vegan at any stage of development. So why would you give that to a child when there are so many other choices? Well, you just said it yourself because it's a choice. Yeah, I guess being vegan is a more moral option over eating meat, I guess. Like, if you're a vegan, I give it up to you, dude. Like, you live your own life. Let me live mine. But, bro, you can't expect people to go vegan when we got bomb-ass steaks like this, dude. Like, if you think I'm giving up this scrumptious, mouth-watering meal for some vegan cheese that tastes like moldy plastic and horse ass... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are mistaken. Thank you so much, Ivan. Can't tell you how much I appreciate this. No, you don't take you don't thank somebody for giving your child dead body parts. What the f is wrong with you? Got an interview with Giovanni's and once I get the job, I promise I'll pay you back soon. Giovanni's? Woohoo, that's the most popular place in town. Good luck. 
And hey, if you want, Ruben can just wait here until your interview's over. You're the best. I'll never forget this. No, you're not the best. You are the worst. Darman, also, why are you making these kinds of videos, Darman? I mean, bro, the video's got 7 million views. That's like at least 20 grand in ad revenue, dude. Can you really blame him? Like, okay, even if I was a vegan and you said, will you advertise a dead animal product for 7 million views and 20 grand in your bank? I'd be like, fuck. Yeah, dude, bring it on. I'll quit veganism for that amount of money, dude. Are you kidding me? You are supposed to be a good guy. Every time, Darman, in the future, that you show any animal products, you must say it's wrong. It must be in that context. And every time you show food, it must be vegan food. You must promote veganism all the time. But wait, isn't that still, like, technically promoting or funding murder? Because he has to buy the, you know, dead animals, quote-unquote, to show it in the videos. So he pays for the dead animals and says, Hey, guys, don't buy these dead animals, even though I just paid for it. Like, how would that work? He's still paying for them. Goddamn, lady, you... Oh, you are something else. Again, veganism is the best thing for the animals. No one gets hurt. For the environment, it's best because it reduces our eco footprint. And even for human health. All schools where children go should be vegan. There should be no dead animals being brought into there and put into the fridges. All hospitals should be vegan. Why are we bringing dead animals into hospitals? A, a hospital is supposed to play, be a place where we heal people with healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, lentils, vegan foods, pasta, rice. But no, actually, let's not make hospitals vegan, dude, because let's say I, I turn 90 years old or 70 years old. Whenever I'm going to die and I'm laying there in the hospital on my deathbed and I'm going to have my final meal, I don't want them to roll in some dumbass vegan cheese and vegan cheeseburgers, dude. Ew. I would rather you just unplug my life support at that point and I'll not have a final meal. I want my final meal to be a delicious steak, some cheeseburgers, all the meat and uh, non-vegan products you can think of. I want all the meat in my mouth. Pause, pause, pause. Not like that. I'll bring it back, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Now he's gonna teach the child how to fry up hot dogs and hang out with him? This man paid for murder. He's making money by selling suffering. I mean, vegan teacher, as somebody who goes online and wastes their elderly life away preaching veganism to people who are not going to listen to it and are not going to go vegan whatsoever just to make money and just to make views, you should be able to respect a fellow bag chaser, man. Yeah, sure, I guess he's selling dead animals and oh no, poor hot dogs, but bro, he's making a bag. You gotta respect it, dude. I I'm a man who was raised and, you know, born to respect the bag, so what that man's doing, God bless him, dude. He's getting the bag he's feeding his family he's getting the bread he's getting the head he's obtaining the grain getting the brain props to that dude kidnapping of animals do you know what happens in these industries when it comes to the baby cows and the dairy industry they take the baby boy cows away from their mothers when they're just little because they'll never be able to give milk and they slit their throats it's wrong Okay, now I think we've watched enough of that dumb video. I can feel my brain cells just up and leaving my head as we speak. So let's check out what the uh, the big D, the big D, oh my god, the big Darman had to say. So he actually left a comment on the video on his official YouTube channel, which for some reason I find really funny. Just something about this profile picture commenting about a psycho vegan lady is just honestly hilarious. So he commented, I promise I'll include vegan food in an upcoming video if you remove at least one of my exes, dude. Dude, god damn, I would actually love to see a Darman video where he like shouts out some vegan product just because I would know he did that because vegan teacher went after him, dude. I also find it funny how Darman is like interacting with all the memes and videos about him. Like my good friend Poncho, he's commented on his videos numerous times, kind of joking around and he's responding to this psycho vegan lady going after him. This man sees everything, dude. I think it's kind of cool. You know, most big YouTubers, they see a hate video about them. They see vegan 
teacher telling him to go vegan and they freak out for no reason. This man, Darman, I'll give him some props. He's actually a good guy and can take jokes and can go along with the meme that people are presenting upon him, you know? Now, Darman, by the off chance you see this video, if you could leave a comment, I would really appreciate that so I can make a video on it and get views and just so I can flex to all my friends that I don't have that the man himself, Darman, commented, bro. So if you could do that, that'd mean a lot. But yeah, on that note, boys, that is all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, just uh, tap on the thingies popping up. We're not to see more. Also, get on below and leave a like so uh, I don't make more videos like this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching that video. It means a lot. Sorry if I sounded sick in today's video because uh, I am. And yeah, I'll catch you guys. See ya. Uh, thank you for hopping on the video to set. But before I end off the video, I just want to thank you guys for the support on the channel. Honestly, uh, this is insane, dude. Uh, just the fact that the channel is still consistently growing. It's insane, dude. I can't comprehend it. Whether we're gonna be at 200k and literally soon, uh, like the 500k is just, it's all wild, dude. I can't believe it. So thank you all for the support, honestly. I hope you guys have been enjoying the CS:GO Surf gameplay. It's honestly been super nostalgic to bring back. I I, I just remember watching Leafy when I was younger and Cyrus and all that before I was really like I said a YouTuber or anything like that. And I just wanted to use it again. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get out get, get ready and sign out here. Uh, thank you guys for the support on the channel. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you do decide to subscribe, subscribe and notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video here on the channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna sign out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.